You know how upset this is really upsetting. As if we and our families don't matter. Everybody's about them and their families. Good morning. I'm usually already done up and on my way to the office, but not today. We were sent home yesterday because one of my coworkers reported symptoms of COVID-19. So now we are required to be tested, number one. Um, and stay home for the next 10 days. I mean, work from home for the next 10 days. My boss is having symptoms. The CEO is having symptoms. Um, Flu-like symptoms, nothing. Um, but my co-worker reported yesterday that she had lost her sense of smell and taste, which means that for at least a week, she was having symptoms. And the worst part, she chose not to say anything. Mm -hmm. In our office, we have very strict rules. Um, but she chose not to say anything. And here we are. Well, I have no symptoms. I'm okay. But I have to go get my test today. Um, my supervisor... She was sneezing and she was congested yesterday and we'll never get sick. So here we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm okay for now, but I'm more upset to be honest. Cause uh, someone like that, you think that she should know better, but no, people are just, people don't care. And it's confirmed. Anyway, so I have to go now and be tested. Um, I should vlog this whole thing. Oh, oh, I probably should vlog it. And, you know, just show the process, right? <gasps> I should probably vlog it. Okay, I'm going to record it all. If I'm allowed, though. Like, I don't know if, how it's going to work with the test, but... I'm going to go get tested today and, you know, but I have no symptoms at all, right? And, but if I am, if I'm right, right, this person has been having symptoms for at least a week, which means that in our interactions as minimal as they could have been, we're still sharing a kitchen, we're still sharing a bathroom, we have a copy machine it's it's a lot so i have no symptoms but what if i'm a carrier right so i'm gonna go get tested today and i'm gonna find out in the next couple of days but maybe i'll get faster results because you know my job <sighs> i'm more upset than anything to be honest this whole thing has stopped an entire department. The operations department, at the, not just any department, corporate operations. <sighs> ah, I'm upset. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm more upset than anything. Because I, I think if I get COVID, I'm going to get sick, but not as sick as some other people. Um, and he's, if my kid gets it, okay. And I don't think he's going to get as sick, but it, I'm just saying it so that you see the level of irresponsibility. Even of people that are supposed to be the most responsible ones, you know? People just don't care. So please. Be careful. Wear your mask. To go to the store, whatever. It's five minutes of your life, whatever. You don't have to always wear the mask if you're 
enough safe space, but look what happened to me now. And we were in our safe space. I've never worked out of my bed, but um, as I'm checking my emails, this is so upsetting. I'm going to read you verbatim what my supervisor just sent us. And I quote, the person admitted that she didn't speak up sooner because she knew she would be sent home. You know how upset, this is really upsetting. As if we and our families don't matter. Everybody's about them and their families. So I'm on my way to get tested. <clears throat> Um, because it happened at work, the job is responsible for it, right? So, but the person that put us at risk needs to find her own testing and deal with that herself. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record it, but I'm going to try. I, I can't believe we're in this situation. I'm in this situation right now. And after my boss confirmed and that the person we're gonna call a patient zero admitted that she didn't report it sooner because she was afraid that she was gonna be sent home. And that's not looking great for her right now because all that says is that her family and her needs are more important than everybody else's safety and that's not a good thing for anyone to have so my boss is going to deal with that one but as of right now i'm just going to go get tested all right so i'm here already and i think the nurse is going to come out and test me i'm waiting for my boss she's freaking out because she's the only one that has symptoms i have no symptoms and that's her text day. let's see what she said <laughs> oh, I feel so much it's freaking out. Let me text her back. Okay, she's freaking out. She has symptoms. I don't. And I always, I'm always very strong in health and exercise and making our bodies healthy. Oh, there goes my coworker. So let's see. Why am I first? All right, who wants to be first? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, okay. Come on. My, this... All right. Are, are you an EMR? Your information? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am an EMR. You are? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's it? Oh! Both sides. Other side? Come on, it wasn't that bad. Okay, I'm gonna sneeze one. Oh yeah, yeah, I expect you to sneeze. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. Right. There we go. Okay, it feels like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Weird. It feels like uh like the activating like like a that reflex that makes you sneeze, that's what that feels like. Okay, well, testing went okay. It just felt a little funny. It, it felt as if I wanted to sneeze. Like if it, like it, he he activated my my sneezing <laughs> the reflex, whatever. Not bad. Now he did say that it's gonna take eight days, eight days for them to get those results. 
and that we are considered positive until they come back negative. So for the next eight days, I'll be working from home, at least eight days. I will be working from home and I will be <sighs> mad. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't believe this is happening. Bom dia, gente. It's Saturday. It's day three after I was directly exposed to COVID-19 and sent home. Um, no symptoms. I feel I feel well. No changes, nothing. I I have to wait more days to get my results. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Today is day three. Or, and I still have no symptoms. Good morning, Instagram. Today's Wednesday, day six, after we were all sent home after being exposed to COVID 19 directly. Um, I still have no symptoms. My co workers are doing better. We still have no results, but I have a meeting in like 20 minutes and yes i'm wearing this to my meeting <laughs> good morning today is day eight after being exposed to COVID 19 directly and guess what i am negative <laughs> my doctor called me late last night to let me know because they knew that the entire department has been at a standstill just waiting for these tests. So yes, it took seven days for me to get my test results. All of my co-workers are also negative, which means whatever illness they were feeling was not COVID related. And it's just like another day. We're going back to the office for the first time in seven days. <laughs> Can't wait to see what's waiting for me today, but I'm happy. Stay safe, wear your masks. We always wear them, especially when we're gonna go to any crowded place or anywhere that we think a patient might have it. Wear your masks. <laughs>